Evan? Hi, is Nick there? Yeah, this is Nick. Hey, Nick, this is Sarah. I'm calling you from paradiseflowers.ky. How are you doing today? All right, how are you? I'm good. I'm actually here to offer you a free dozen red romantic roses. Now, what we're doing is a uh, word-of-mouth campaign where we want to let people know about this new flower company on island. And so what I want to do is offer you these roses just for doing a survey and for telling your friends about us. Is that okay? Do you have a couple minutes? Uh, yeah, for someone free. It's seriously free. Free red roses, and you can send them to whoever you want. Completely free, like I said. Just <laughs> you've never, yeah. It's well, then it's your lucky day. You've won free red roses. Again, they're romantic ones too. All right. Okay. So I want to know: Have you purchased flowers in the last six months? Uh, no. No. Are you planning on purchasing flowers in the next six months? Sure. Okay. Just when you do so, think of paradiseflowers.ky. All right. Done. Awesome. Okay, now for that, uh, we're going to get the place that you want to send the flowers to, but we need the name of who you want to send the dozen romantic red roses to. Okay. Um, You need, like, a name and address? Yeah, just the name Uh, first. Okay. Uh, Natalie. Natalie. Okay. And along with the red roses, you get to put a message on a card. Uh, So what would you want that to say? Uh, Okay. Um. Glad you moved in, my FWB. FWB. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She'll know. I mean, okay, okay, she'll know. Inside joke. How cute. Okay. Hey, Nick, uh, this is uh, Blake. I'm on for Quality Assurance. How are you today? Uh, good. How are you? Good. I uh, actually want to tell you that you're on the radio. You're on a program called Blake and Aaron in the Morning on X1071, and we do a thing called War of the Roses where we offer roses to someone to find out if they're cheating or not for that uh-huh. person's significant other. And your girlfriend, Elise, has been listening in this whole time. Say hello. Oh. Nick, are you kidding me? FWB? What does that mean, What is FWB? I tell him, Nick. Tell him what it means. FWB. Oh, babe, come on. I can't believe you called a radio station on me. You know, I can't believe that you're calling that. Is it like SWV, bitch. Sister with Voices? Uh, yeah. Frank with Voices? That's a great tell song, him, by the way. Is it, tell them what it means, because that's what you F- call it. F-W-B. Oh, B, maybe. SWV or SWB? It means oh God, friends dude. with benefits, and I can't believe you don't even have the ball. Friends with benefits. <gasps> oh. Your new roommate. So, what do you have to so say for I yourself, right, Nick? Nick. I was right. It's just... It's just... I, it. was uh, just welcoming her to the island, uh-huh. all right? Oh, <laughs> God, you're so kind. What a great... Welcoming welcome her, wagon. With her with your penis? Yeah. <laughs> that hasn't happened yet, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean... So then what friends with benefits are you guys, then? Do your laundry... You know what, Nick? Well, I that I can't believe that you'd be such a jerk. I asked I you to not have her move in, and you did it anyway. And and then well, you were going to pay half my rent. Crazy. No. Yeah. Well, you have gotten a little bit nuts lately. So. Well, because you're that... cheating on me. Dude, so I wasn't. yeah, sorry. I, I wasn't. So Nick, uh, this girl moved in, uh, and your uh, girlfriend Elise said she's super hot. Is she hot? Yeah, she's pretty smoking. <laughs> so why did you, when you guys had a conversation about when you were looking for somebody to move in, you found her, or she contacted you, and then Elise said... Me. What's that? She contacted me. Right. She answered the ad. Right, and so then Elise deal. said, hey, she had some concerns about it. Hey, maybe she shouldn't move in. And But you're like, I'm doing it anyway. Um, Dude, I had to pay the rent, okay? And I couldn't really pull it all together, and this chick was willing to do it. Okay. And Elise wasn't willing what, to pay You know what, rent. Nick? What was this chick willing to do? Because there was like three other people who also interviewed for the apartment. Why are we discussing this on a radio station? I don't know. You could have been an adult and like discussed it with me, but no. You had to be a little too No, no, no. You could have been, station. no. You could have been beyond an adult. You could have been a man and broken up with me if you want to start seeing someone else and not make me feel like I'm crazy for the last two months. So, wait, Nick, are you true. seeing her then? Uh, nothing's confirmed. You know, we're roommates. You guys sleep in the same bedroom? 
no. Okay, so but friends with benefits, why would you call someone your new or whatever you said? We made each other breakfast and stuff. That's it. Yeah, she's done my laundry. It's just way more than my girl What is your definition did. of friends with benefits? <laughs> Making breakfast in bed? Because everybody else's definition of friends with benefits is, you know, doing it. Well, I'll let you know when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, I just got to tell you, and you know this as a guy, like, uh, if you're messing around with your roommate, you have an instant live-in girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, sounds pretty good right now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you're right. Yep. Wow. Time to go on, at least. So, yeah, I mean, did you hear what you wanted to hear? Yeah, you know what? I did. Talking to me? But you're an asshole. I did. Oh. Thank you. All right, then. Well, I think you're really mature for calling a radio station. So. Whatever. Right. And I think you're really immature and an asshole. For okay. not having the balls to break up with me and then ask this girl up. You're going to lure her into your apartment, start screwing her, no, and no, no, then no, no, instant no. girlfriend, add her. water and That's stir. Right. Okay. It was, a, it was a happy little, you know, accident. And um, by the way, you really need you're to be how to give head because you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so that's it. You know what? No, you know, know what? That. I give as good as I get, and so maybe that says something <laughs> about you. Wow. No, 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 my friend. Yeah. You've got some grade A stuff here that you're missing out on. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to come I think that, wow. that grade A has expired. So whatever. What, so what do you mean exactly? Uh, Nick, she's like a uh, little too too much teeth? Or what? What, what do you mean? No. Oh, my God, yeah. It like slobbery. Wow. It doesn't really know what she's doing. It's, it was sad. No. It was I, I, sad. I do know what I'm doing. I do. I yeah. just don't want to do it to you. All right. Well, hey, Blake, maybe you should give her a try. Oh. Um, well... I have a see. The thing is, is I have a female roommate too. I'm oh, not. <laughs> what I'm talking about. But he's not. I'm not boning her though. Yes. Yeah. Not no. yet. Give it a no, chance. Oh my god. There you go. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, let's hope she, I'm just joking. she's not listening right now. So like, it's fair to say that um, that you guys are not going to date anymore, Elise. Yeah. Yeah. No. Done. Elise, you could do better. Come on, get someone oh, that's going to respect you more. It, you know what? This is the best thing I've ever done, and it's a favor and and good riddance. And and I mean, so I don't need this. Yeah, you don't. But but uh, on the other side, Nick, you sound like you want to like party and have a good time and do that. So you know, maybe in, maybe you're not ready to settle down. Uh, not with Louise. You know, she's want to sit around and like knit, you know, crochet and whatever. And like, I'm not into <laughs> that. No, please. Nope. Thank <laughs> you. Now, do I still get the roses though? You don't actually. Sorry, those are fake. Yeah, you are such a jerk. You're such a cheapskate. You know what? What? What a gift! Thank you. Or they called me a ever offer. Right, you idiot. We called you to we set you up, and you still don't understand how you were set up. You're such an idiot. You think you're getting free roses? Oh my god! If you have a comment for Nick or Elise, nine four three one zero seven one. It's where the roses.